everyone. I'm barefaced. Do not judge. I have, you know, some some acne from not eating so great, but also pregnancy hormones. Like these two just appeared this morning. Yeah, these are gnarly. Anyway, today we are gonna have a pamper me pamper with me day. I have a facial booked at 10 a.m. and I have a prenatal massage at 1 p.m. So it's been a really rough month this October. Today is October 30th and I just need a full pamper day. I'm thinking if I have time to make vegan pumpkin pie. So come along with this pampered day. We're just gonna hang out. So grab some tea, journals, whatever you want. I already meditated and I do this one pregnancy meditation on Insight Timer that I love. It has like singing bowls and stuff. I'll put a little thing right here and I'll link it down below. I really love it. It's the one meditation that I probably have listened to like eight times so far every morning. So I already did that. So yeah, let's get on with the day of the pamper routine. So you can join with me as well if you do some like pampering at home. Let's bond as friends and mommies. Whether you have kids or you're pregnant, pregnant expectant mothers, you know what I'm trying to say. All right, let's get into it. a thing that I do in the morning besides meditate is I drink a glass of water super important obviously to stay hydrated in general but especially when you're pregnant I look so horrendous right now I'm so pale at the same time but anyway I have my this is my shower headband I'm, I only wash my hair once a week I do the curly hair method I also have a shower cap that I will put above this and I do the double because my hair still gets wet with the shower cap to start off before I get in the shower I always dry brush this is from Bath Blossom from Amazon. I'll link the link down below. It comes in a three pack. I'll link the exact link if I can find it. If you want to purchase these facial dry brushes. What I do normally in the morning is I start from the chest. You always want to go in an upward motion. And this goes the same as like effleurage in massage. I'm a massage therapist and you always want to go towards the heart. You would also go this way after you're done dry brushing. I go up the neck. I do this every morning. The only thing that I do not dry brush is my abdomen. I think later on when you have a belly, it's more safer and that you could dry brush there. But for now, I have not been doing my abdomen. I go here and yeah, pretty simple. And that's it. It doesn't take that long. Then I go in the shower and I do my other dry brush. So there is a video, I forgot which video I show with dry brushing, but essentially you wanna start from your feet and then move up. So I go from the feet to my legs. I do my back cause I have a long dry brush and so I can reach my back. I go up, I get my shoulders, I get my arms. Well, I go upwards this way and then go downwards towards my chest and that's it and then i take a shower if you want me to do like a separate dry brushing video like a pregnancy dry brushing video when i have a belly leave a comment down below but that is what i do and i do that this is like a simple pampering thing that you could do every day i do it as part of my routine of my shower so it's a habit now it is just part of my routine just like going to the bathroom going to the gym obviously you want to moisturize after you dry brush because it's, it's taking off dead skin cells there's so many dry brushing benefits and one of my favorite is that it has tremendously helped me with acne I have been dry brushing all year and I've never seen my face I mean, not right now. This is like hormonal and me not eating right. If I eat right, and obviously I'm pregnant, you're bound to have like hormonal outbreaks. I will have clear skin. Maybe once in a while I'll get like one pimple here and there. It does, my diet does play a part in it, but this has helped so much. It's moving your lymphatic system. So that's moving your blood. It's circulating your blood. It's unclogging like your pores and stuff. And I swear by it, but anyway. Let's continue in this pampering day. <laughs> During
during my shower I love to and I actually haven't done this in a while but this video has reminded me to do it I love to put music on shut the lights off and whether it's meditation music nature music I usually like to listen to like forest music and just really energetically cleanse and just really clear my mind it's really a great way to take a shower unless you're someone that really can't see but i kind of leave the door open so that i can see but now i'm gonna put some day serum that i have i'm not gonna put any makeup or anything because i'm obviously getting a facial but i am gonna put some serum on the face up until then even though i moisturize my face day and night still feels dehydrated i am a bit thirsty so i'm probably just dehydrated over the wall so i'm gonna have another glass of water actually a uh, lumen dark spot corrector and i got it from the oh baby one of the subscription boxes the company is minimo skin essential healthy glowing skin so i'm just gonna put a little bit on just so that i have you know something on my face that is what I do if you guys want like a night pampering routine I have like this whole routine for my skin at night as well so that's that and I have it in my skincare fridge right here I don't have a proper shelf and then I'm gonna go in with this coffee bean caffeine eye cream from from 100 100% pure it's not focusing there we go I'm running out of it, but put some on my eyes. This stuff smells really good, and I love it. Maintain the glow that we're trying to obtain, but there's that. You want to be gentle around your eyes. You necessarily don't need an eye cream. It's still like a moisturizer, but coffee is really beneficial for the eye. And then... I always put chapstick on. Morning, night, during the day. I love the brand. Hurrah, I get it off of Vitacos. I have vanilla, I have cherry, I had grapefruit, and I also have coffee. Where is it? I have coffee as well, but I don't know where it is. So we're gonna do vanilla. The cherry flavor has a tint. I will see if I can find an Amazon link for the chapsticks and I'll leave it down below for you. But I literally cannot live without this. And that stays by my bed because every night I'm like, mm. I also want read my day-to-day -day page in my pregnancy book, Day by Day. This is a fantastic book. I'll leave a link, Amazon link down below. I highly suggest getting this book. It's just a one, another way to connect with your baby. Every morning, at least I'll try every morning to read the page. And if I don't read it, I'll wind up catching up later on. So I'll show you a little bit about the book. So this is today. I have 195 days to go and it's talking about the second trimester and how that you can announce your pregnancy that it's 1% chance of a miscarriage after 12 weeks. I announced what at 10 weeks, I think 10 weeks I announced it. And then it gives you like a little maternity hack to use a hair tie around your jeans if they don't fit. That hack does not work for me personally. It talks about Down syndrome tests to get. I'm not sure if my book, if every book is like this, but my book, like I'm in 12 weeks, but it will start the 13th week before you go into your 12th like everyday weeks. It's like backwards. It's really weird. No, week 12, it says, welcome to your second trimester. And it tells you, like, it gives you this timeline. There's what the baby mostly looks like. And it's just really cute. It's really um, entertaining and knowledgeable. I love knowledge. I love learning. So that's really great. And then the next page, it's going to talk about di diagnostic tests because that's the time that you're going to be typically getting them. It talks about diet, meals. And so far, I really, really enjoy it. And it even goes, it starts from like your menstrual cycle. So that is the Pregnancy Day by Day book by Maggie Blot and Paula Amato. And I have that on my nightstand. I always have water at my nightstand. This is my Starbucks cherry blossom water bottle that I purchased the last year because I live in Japan. That's what's on my nightstand. 
And I always make sure I have my essentials here in, the, in, I guess I'm giving you guys a tour. In my drawer, I have what to expect when expecting. This is the, an, an advanced reading copy, not for sale, but I bought this at a thrift store years ago in New York. I'm on chapter nine, the fourth month, because I already read the rest. I have this cute little eye pillow that smells like lavender and yarrow. This is so great for pampering. This one's a little hard, but like if you're doing yoga or something, or just want to do a little resting, that's great to have. I have saltine crackers in here. I have my essential oil, muscle, pain, essential oil that I got in the Oh Baby Bob pregnancy test in here. But that's what I have there. And then I also have the In a Maze Guide to Childbirth here as well. And I have my peppermint for when I wasn't feeling well. But it's a great to like wake yourself up. And then I have this nausea and tummy inhaler. And it has peppermint, ginger, and orange in it. I don't know why I'm showing you guys. I'm sorry if this is so boring. <laughs> Let's continue on with my morning routine. Currently out of body lotion. So I'm using my travel size and low body butter that is in the flavor cuckoo cacao. Okay, I'm in a sports bra, so I'm not naked. The next thing I go in is this mother special blend and it's safe all natural skin toning. It helps prevent stretch marks. I put this on my belly and usually on my breast as well. It has almond oil, coconut oil, cacao butter, and vitamin E. No chemicals, no preservatives, no artificial colors and no perfumes super friendly vegan friendly organic i use that i also after i moisturize my face i use this analu natural rose flower toner and it just smells like roses and it smells so good i have a lot of steps to my routine i'm very aware of that i like to have pampering things within my daily routine so that at least i'm doing a little bit of some self-care <laughs> on every day i like to you know connect with the baby like hello baby and every time i meditate in the morning i always put my hand on my stomach different ways that you connect with your baby even though you don't feel the baby yet i like to let it dry so that it doesn't stain any of my clothes put the rest on your inner hands my routine looks like it takes longer than it does, but I promise you it doesn't. If I'm working, I definitely have to like speed up the process. It does not take long. It's part of my routine. Health and wellness, it's so important to me that I just implement in my routine. I know things will change when the baby comes and I might not be able to do everything every day. That's the goal, right? I still want to have a goal towards that. I make a good habit now. And this has been a habit for a very long time. Routine is to make sure I have clean, organic, non-toxic products that are going in and out of my body. Not only is your skin the largest organ, within 30 seconds, things hit your bloodstream and it's gonna go directly to your baby too. That is my opinion, that is the way I do things. It doesn't mean I judge other people for using conventional products. It's just what I do and I just wanna share with you my health and wellness journey. I've always been like this, it's not just because I'm pregnant. The deodorant that I use is this raw shea butter by Nubian Heteridge. It has frankincense and myrrh, aluminum free, I can't use any deodorants that have baking soda in it anymore. I used to live in Arizona and it would just really irritate me and give me rashes. This has really good ingredients. It's cruelty free. It doesn't have baking soda in it. If you're really irritated by baking soda, that is an option for you. I'm not getting this deodorant. Anything that I mention, I'll leave links for you guys down below. I'll show you everything. Really, really important during pregnancy is your oral health, but your oral health is important whether you're pregnant or not, but it's extra important when you're pregnant because the baby's you know, taking all your nutrients. So you wanna make sure you're having a healthy diet, that you're brushing your teeth, that your oral health is good. I don't need to explain, I'm sure you already know. So I always use Dr. Brana's all-in-one toothpaste. This is the peppermint flavor, no fluoride. That is just my personal preference. Then I use this skinny, it's a skinny peppermint oil pulling from my Chasing Unicorns, Chasing Unicorns subscription box that 
video is on my spiritual channel. I oil pull while I'm in the shower. I try to do it every day so far. I just implemented this back in my routine. Coconut oil is so great. It's antifungal, antibacteria. There's just so many benefits with coconut oil. I just love it. So that's part of my routine. I also have a tongue scraper and I have Thieves Young Living mouthwash as well. That's part of my oral health routine. So yeah, gotta make sure these TTs are clean. So floss morning and night. The outfit of the day. I normally just use this in the house, but I think I'm gonna go to my massage and my facialness because it's so comfy. I bought this at the base exchange, the BX on the base, so I will not be able to link this down below. It's super comfy and I have matching slippers. guys i just finished the facial and she did so much extraction it was the best facial i ever had i had to run home like speed home i had to pee so bad it was so bad that i drank that much water because i peed twice before i got there and i had to pee and i didn't want to like get up or whatever so i ran home to pee i wound up being there like an hour and 40 minutes, I would say. It started at 10 and now it's 12.20. I'm putting some leftover empanadas, two of them, in the oven, toaster oven for lunch. I'm gonna be somewhat red. I don't know if you, yeah, like there, there. The best extraction ever. She did so amazing. I'm definitely gonna, I'm hoping I can do a, like a monthly facial. My So she said like, my pores are really open, which is really bad because that's why I have so much blackheads and stuff. Obviously cold really helps to close the pores. Yeah, so I'm hoping I could get a, like a monthly facial. I don't know if I'll be here in November, so definitely I'll get one in December. And it's just so nice that it's close and she just did so good. She took her time for someone to be like that and versus like a CEO company or a franchise, I mean. She took her time and you could just tell that she really cared. So if you live on base or coming on base and looking for an esthetician, it's independent skincare. Contact me to like find like where she's at, but she has her business on Facebook. She's so good. I think thought she just launched her business and she's been here since February. I'm upset that I didn't even know about her, but at least I know her now, have her now. I leave in 2022 in Japan, so she will be here for two more years. So that's super awesome. I'm gonna warm up my empanadas, eat them real quick, and then head over to my massage. I know I'm like, this is not like relaxing because I'm like, I had a breath. I was like going up the stairs because the elevators were going opposite directions and I was like, I have to pee. I made it to the fourth floor and then took the elevator from there because I live on the eighth floor. But anyway, so for my massage, I'm going off base. I think it's about five minutes off base and it's called Fada's P-H-A-D-A -A massage. I heard great things for prenatal massage. I am a massage therapist, but I, so that's where I'm going. <laughs> But yeah, I don't, I'm not going to do the vegan pumpkin pie in this video. I'm going to come home after the massage and just, I'm going to read a book. I haven't really sat down and read. So that will be really a great addition to my pamper routine. Now I'm on my way to my massage. Totally forgot my hat, but I'm trying to keep my hair back away from my skin. So it's okay. It's parking right there. This is the building.
home for my massage. It was really, really good. I wasn't expecting it to be that good. And she actually spoke English. So for those of you who are looking for a massage therapist on base, besides me, I mean, come to me if you could see me. But if you're looking for a therapist off base, she was really, really good. And I really enjoyed it. And I smell so good. They used, she uses like some rose oil and then i got some apple tea after and she does take tip so that's really cool because most japanese that they don't take tip and i really wanted to tip her we were just talking and she was actually saying for japanese you're not supposed to get a premium ma massage until you're four months i'm 12 weeks three months and i was like oh because i as a therapist can give a massage starting at 12 weeks i'm very knowledgeable in that area and i know like i'm not gonna <laughs> if something happens i won't blame them so definitely that i'm debating if i should download a book on kindle or read one of my books on that lovely bookshelf i have a lot of self-help books but i'm think i want to read like a book for pleasure i haven't read a book for pleasure in so long so i have to decide and i'm drinking another glass of lemon water after massage you want to drink a ton ton of water and massage is a big part of my health and wellness routine i love getting massages it's not just a luxury for me as a massage therapist like I'm working I have to make sure that I work out get massages take care of my body because massaging people is a lot of work I know not everybody can get massages but it's also cheaper here in Japan that is part of my big well health and wellness routine I know it's not for everyone but if you could do like a spa day at home maybe with your significant other uh, trade massages or give yourself a home facial those are different ideas as well I know it's not in everybody's budget but it's something that my husband and I invest in and it's super important to me for part of my health and for my wellness tonight i'm gonna end the pampering day with a bath a nice warm bath you could take a warm bath if you're pregnant it just can't be hot bought a heater for the bathroom because i always get cold because it doesn't last long baths are also part of my health and wellness routine because i always use epsom salt which has magnesium sulfate in it any form of magnesium is really good for you and it's really good for helping sore muscles and for your bones and i love epsom salt i take baths weekly and it's just part of my routine and i love it so i light up a candle i have my crystals around me we'll do that tonight because it's really good after a massage to take an epsom salt bath because it's like the cherry on top especially sometimes in massage you can be sore the next day which is normal get fluffy where is it get your fluffy You get it?